Hi folks, welcome to my video of the unboxing of the Logitech G27 driving force racing wheel and pedals with a driving force shifter as well. You're going to have to excuse my uh, speaking in this video, it might be a little bit done up but I've got an issue or a problem with my tongue at the moment so I'm a bit pleh pleh, a bit fat mouth. <laughs> so, yep, there's the, uh, the steering wheel boxed up. From people that know my channel, you'll know that I usually and have done a lot of work with the Thrustmaster T100 force feedback racing wheel. Um, time has come for an upgrade, really. Um, the stuff that I've done to it, modifying wise, has uh, taken its toll a little bit with it. It still works uh, pretty well as, as wheel and pedals, but uh, a few of the buttons and, and things like that are starting to struggle now, and some just don't work at all. Um, and with, uh, with with the uses that I get out of it, it's probably worth me spending a little bit more, which is why I've transferred onto this G29. So we'll uh, start off by unboxing the wheel and pedal set itself. Um, I haven't got, I still haven't got a camera mount, so uh, you're going to have to excuse the shaky camera work, but I'll try and keep it to a minimum. Um, just give you a quick tour of the box. So obviously on the front you've got the nice big picture of it, um, showing the official PlayStation 4 and 3 logos down here at the bottom. It is for PlayStation 4, 3 and for PC as well, just using the usual USB connection. On the top, just a blue with a description of the product. On the left side of the box, just a picture of the wheel, not, not, not much else. Uh, on the back, quite a bit of info about the uh, product itself, uh, highlighting some of the key parts of it. If you wanted to read through them, feel free to pause the video now. There is an English, uh, English, German... French, Italian, Spanish, and Dutch. Nice focusing job. And there we go. Yep. So there's that with the uh, pictures of the wheel and pedals. On the other side, similar to the other side, but there's a picture of the pedals this time and other languages descriptions there. As far as I know, there's nothing actually on the bottom. Let's have a quick look. Now, barcode and usual disclaimer stuff. So let's get into the box. Cut there, cut there, and I think that's it. Yep. Tab. Okay, so straight away we're greeted with a nice bit of paperwork. This is uh, just how you connect it all up. Sorry about this focus issue I've got here, it must be the light. There we go. So yeah, just setting up each part, what each part does. Nothing on the back. So uh, that's laid out with these cardboard dividers. Let's go through these wires first. So we have the transformer for the power. Got a UK plug on it, obviously here. Might uh, vary depending on whereabouts in the world you are. Put that there. We've got, oh, an advert for a play seat. Yeah, maybe one day when I've got more room in my house, you never know. Interesting that. Who's that bloke? Uh, Sebastian Buemi. Hmm. Yeah, he did well, didn't he? That's that. Uh, another bit of info. Safety, compliance. That'll be to do with the plug, I would have thought. And that's it. This cable, looking at it, probably wanders off to the uh, pedals. So is that removable? Not really. Right, so <clears throat> what should we go with first? Let's get the wheel out first. That's on this part. We've got one under. There we go. Tell you what, we'll take them both out. And then we can get the box out of the way. Pedals. Sideways, excuse this camera work. There we go. So once everything's out, just some cardboard dividers left over inside the box. Pops out the way. Alright, pedals out the way. Let's do the pedals first. Less to go through, I suppose. So, out the bag, bag over there. Pedals, nice metal. Um pedals themselves on there so we've got the clutch the brake oh, i see what people say about the review of the brake now it is very that there's i mean there's movement it gets that far and then it's very padded so if i push it with all my force oh yeah i suppose it's like a real brake i'll give it that Let's see how it goes some people have said there's some issues with it so we'll see how that goes and then the throttle which does sit a little bit further back as you can see they're not all in a true line um, the, the throttle sits a bit further back than the brake and the brake is actually slightly in front of the clutch, ever so slightly. Connection as usual, 
like an old VGA cable uh, connection, that, isn't it? And then, so there's a good weight, I'll give them that. They're definitely heavier than the Thrustmaster ones. And about um, something that I've really missed on the Thrustmaster, which is this uh, carpet grip. I had real issues with my uh, pedals wandering off down the carpet, just because you're putting pressure on them and they move along the floor. Um, and I ended up having to wedge them in place with like a book or something like that. And it just wasn't very, you know, not very pro. Now we've got the mounting holes if you wanted to put these on a play seat or your own um, setup that you wanted to use. That's there. How do I get this carpet grip thing to pop out? If I remember rightly, there's like a, a latch. There it is. There you go. So it's just like kind of spring load. So these are all little spikes now that will just grip on the carpet. Straight away. Pushing that now. It's not moving. Great. So that's that. Onto the I suppose the main event. Here's the wheel. Out it comes. Oh, sorry for wearing headphones. Bang out of the way again. So the wheel. Nice leather feel to it. A little bit of a stitching deficiency there. I might bug me because that's right on a thumb grip. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, nice leather feel to it. Uh, and then this part is uh, metal, probably aluminium, I'd assume. Oh, it's, I could annoy people or make feel, people feel good here. Take this off, look. There it goes. Some people hate those. I'm one of them. Right. So we've got a PlayStation logo in the middle. D-pad, nicely within thumb reach. So the L2, which is the shoulder button, L2 and R2. They're the shoulder buttons on the PlayStation controller. And L3 and R3, which is when you click the thumbsticks in on the PlayStation controller, there, there. Up, down, I'll be interested to see if they are mappable on the PlayStation because they obviously aren't, they're, they're like sort of extra buttons. Um, I would have thought games like Project Cars will be able to use those, but the likes of Drive Club and stuff might not. Uh, and then over here we've got a dial, it's 10 position dial, I think I remember reading. And then I can enter, so if you're adjusting settings on your, uh, say, I don't know, you're driving into the pits and you're just changing to, between which tyres to change to or how much fuel to put in, etc. That's there. Then we've got the PlayStation buttons down here, the PlayStation Home button, the Option or Pause button, and the Share button just there. Lovely uh, circle, triangle, square and X buttons there. Again, within nice thumb reach for your right hand. It's all within good reach, to be honest. I mean, you know, you can, you can flick that quite nicely with your thumb. So that's there. Onto the back. The... Uh, Quite large metal um, gear shifters. Got a lot of travel on them actually. I mean, see how much movement there is before the click, which you probably hear. Quite a lot of movement. There's a good, I would say, probably about a centimetre movement before it actually clicks. So it's interesting. Um, the back of the unit is a lot thinner than the T100. I've actually packed it away, unfortunately now. But I would say the T100 probably came to about there width-wise, so it's, it's definitely more compact than the T100. There's also, just up here, you can see the switch. Uh, this is for between PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Um, if you're using it on PC, you have it in PlayStation 4, so I'm going to put it onto PS4 now because that's what I'll be using it on. That's that. Um, in here, can't really see them because it's not on, you have got the shift lights, um, which will... I don't know if they work in every single racing game, but I know that in, in Project Cars and that, they do work. They sort of, they're green, I think it's two green, two amber, two red. Um, on each side it meets in the middle as you change gear. So that's that. Uh, yeah, it does feel really nice. Nice and, the nice leather feel to it. Um, the T100 is part rubber, part plastic. You'll see on the picture, the, the rubber is sort of where your hands sit. And then it goes back to plastic at the top and bottom. Whereas this is uh, entirely leather, and then this uh, metal centre piece in the middle at the top. And there we go. Oh, I'll just give you a look at the back, actually, for your, your inputs. So we've got the nice cable tidy system underneath, uh, and a sport will wrap them around so that you don't get too many, uh, too many wires all over your desk. That's going to be interesting for me. Don't let kids play with it. So you have to keep an eye on my son. Uh, the pedals, they plug in, this is the bit where I'm going to say I should have read the uh, instructions.
Uh, I don't know. Instructions. Into the back. Uh, where? Hey. Where? Apparently, it goes in there. Ah, oh, it's here. Oh, God. I bet you're all watching this going, it's there. It's just there, you stupid boy. If I put it up at the light, you can actually see now. Look. <laughs> Each side. <laughs> uh, we've got a hole here. You can see the logos are upside down there. Hole here for the power cable. Then the pedals, so the pedal logo. And then on the other side, the shifter, which I'm going to show you in a second. That goes into that hole just there. And then the things are floor wise. So the power and the um, pedals will go down those two roots, the USB which is already attached and the gear shift will go down those two roots, come out of the back. There you go, stupid me. Do your research before you do a video Dan. <sighs> right, on to this then. The uh, four shifter which is going to go along with this. I mean this is obviously a lot different to the uh, the T100 I'll talk while I'm unboxing here. Um, because the T100 didn't have a clutch and it didn't have um, obviously anything like this shifter which uh, I'm going to be hopefully using quite a bit. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I do race on uh, both PlayStation 4 and on PC. Um, on PC I play a Seto Corsa. Um, kind of it really. Um, I might play the odd dirt game on PC, stuff like that. Oh, tour of the box. Picture, picture. Other languages, very quick one. And then similar to the uh, the Logitech back, just a quick info about each uh, feature on the uh, <clears throat> shifter. Uh, comparing this with the G27, well I never had a G27 but I've looked into it myself. The G27 had buttons mounted on the gear shifter, this does not, it has no buttons whatsoever. So in the box as you just saw, I took that out and then a bit of paperwork on the side which I'm just going to ignore to be honest. Right, let's get this out of here then. I've heard a lot of people saying that this is a spitting image of the G27 one, but without those buttons I was mentioning. Again, sorry I've had for any users. So there we go. It's uh, it's a male version of the uh, pedals plug. I suppose that stops getting them mixed up. Quite a nice long cable there. And the annoying logo protector thingy. Off it goes. Right, so there we go. Um, clamps on the back. Again, just turn, I'm just giving you a nice view of my jeans here. Look nice, nice. Anyway, uh, yeah. Twist these each side and it brings those up as well as one underneath. So it's like a three point clamp system, which is pretty good for me, so small. Um, I didn't mention them on the wheel, um, it's the same thing. Uh, clamps there underneath each side uh, so I may be modifying this um, because I've seen a, a video of the guy and I can't remember what his name was um, and there's a part you can get which goes inside which makes it feel more realistic um, so we shall see it does feel um, I mean, especially up down it's hard to do this one handed I'm going to see if I can Wedge the camera between my legs. Not as bad as it sounds. There we go. You might not even be able to see it now. Oh, I've got the phone. Eek. Ah. Proper amateur, I am, I? You think for all the subs I've got that I should get a proper camera mount? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the up down is a lot lighter than the, the left to right. Um, since I've been using my fingers. Yeah, so there's first, second, third, fourth, and then over here, fifth, sixth. I mean, that tells you I can do it with my thumb. And then for reverse, you push, actually push it down and go all the way over there and down, I believe. I'm pushing it down hard enough. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, so that I can see why there's been some people saying it isn't brilliant. Slightly underwhelmed by that, but uh, there we go. I'm going to get it all set up now um, and have a play. Uh, I might do some sort of review at a later date. 
but we're on 15 minutes now and you're probably all falling asleep or gone on to another video but cheers guys um subscribe as usual any questions i do answer really quick i'm quite an active youtube member um i'll get back to you as soon as i can with uh, any queries you've got um just finally i know one of my worries was how the gearing sounds in this not too bad could be different when it's plugged in there yeah so uh, subscribe like etc etc um, and i shall catch you guys soon thanks ever so much for watching See you later.